to make a joggers pants and bomber jacket for my kid clients yes my little clients so watch me as i draft the pattern directly on my fabric she's a four year old girl so the length of her trouser is 26 and i measured 26 and a half for the front pattern her crush is seven i have to draft it here this is my seven her flap round up is 16 divided by 2 give me 8 and I add half inch so 8 and half and I take it up take it down take it down this is for joggers I'm drafting directly on the fabric so the next thing I do is I divide into two. Eight and a half by two will give me four or quarter. I'll have to take my four or quarter down. Down. So the next thing is uh, the flap. I'll have to do two inches. Or rather, let me do one and a half. And I cover it. It's very simple. Then the down will be six from the flap up. I will have to join it down using a free hand. You can still use your ruler to do that. It's a small kit, so it's quite simple. This is the front pattern. You will notice I didn't do anything on the waist because. I'm going to use elastic here. The back, this is the front, placed on my fabric. I want to use it, add some necessary allowance and cut out the back immediately. So what I have to do here, this is the crush. I'll have to add it two and a half inches because she's a small girl, she will play anyhow. So I'll have to make her comfortable in her dress. Down here, I added one inch, and up here, I did it one inch. Draw the line, curve it in, and up here, I added one and a half, so that she'll be free wearing her dress. And here, all along here, by the shaping side, is one inch throughout. I now draw this. You can still use your pattern, your cuffs, and do it. But I'm used to freehand. Isn't it simple? So let's cut. This is our joggers uh, pattern. The front and the back. Each of them is two two. The 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 waist will have a elastic part. To down here. The hemming line will be also uh, band that's found down here, and it will have an elastic here, elastic band up here at the waist. So let me draft the small pocket. Time to draft the pockets. Please watch the way I'm cutting it. This is a front pattern. So I'm gonna place it here. This is the crush. This is the side. So from this shipping side. I have to do my pockets. I have to place it so that everything will have the same shape here. That's the first thing I do when I want to do my pockets. The first thing I do is to place it, get the shape of the waist to align very well, and that of the sides. Can see it's now two. It's four. One, two, three, four. I'll pick two out of it. Place it on my pattern and catch my pocket uh, opening. 
like this. She's a small girl. And I cut. This is the pocket. Look at it. When you want to sew it, you first of all join here. Then with this now, you join it to this place and it will form your pockets for you. Hope you are seeing it. So time to draft my pattern for bomber jackets. The length of my clients is 16. I add half inch up, half inch down, and it is uh, 17. I'm drafting the back first, 17. Half one inch for, and I add one inch for high neck uh, allowance. If you have been followed, following me, you will notice that uh, I always add one inch at the back for high neck. Any high neck dress that I do, I usually add this one inch. It will make your dress or your shirt not to be going back when you are wearing it on your body. So from here now, I do my armpits for the little baby, I'll use six. Then her chest uh, is uh, 27. 27 divided by four. Will give, I'll approximate it to 28 to give me seven. And uh, I'll add two inches to give me nine. Her shoulder is 14, which I'll get 7, yeah, come down here and get my 7, join it and curve it, then everything will be straight, this is 9 also, and here is 9. I do the neck, the neck is uh, 2 inches, I'll use 12 two or quarter and I'll deepen it by one and a half. This is the bomber jacket. Then slant my shoulder down here to the armpit line. That's my shoulder. You can see my pattern now. This is the back pattern. I'll place it and get the front one. So this is my back pattern. I've placed it on my fabric again to get my front pattern. You can see where I started because the length is uh, 16 plus see my allowance is up and down. It's giving me 17. This one inch is for zip. I'll use it and fix my zip. This is sharp sharp. Sharp, sharp, Niger style. Push down my shoulder so that it will have the same shape with this one. And from here I notch, then do my neck. So I'll use two and a half, or rather, let me use three, three, two three quarter, two three quarter here, and here is two inches, and join it. It's a small gap. Notch the zipper allowance so that anybody that will sew it will notice it. I have to make visible the zipper line. Then I use my tape and get the pocket line. I'll start from 10, end it at 14, and I'll start from here. I'll start from one and a half. 
and by this side I end it at uh, four. I use my my tape, my ruler. Sorry, I use my ruler and join it. This line is my pocket line. This is my pocket line, and I'll do my little magic. Want to draft the sleeve pattern? The sleeve length is 15. They'll add the allowances and it will give me 17. I mark. Use three and a half inches for her basic sleeve. Her sleeve down here is six. I'll do it six on the dots. That is six rounds, but I'm doing it 12 now. Okay, we draw here. Here now, take it six and join my sleeve. This is my sleeve. My sleep pattern.